I am super excited today to tell you about Grave Beginnings by R. R. Verdi. I originally read this book back in January of 2015, and if I knew you were a fan of the Dresden Files, I would plain flat hand this book over to you and say, you have to read this. You'll enjoy it. It's written in essentially the same style. However, if you're not a big fan of urban fantasy or haven't heard it, then let's go ahead and talk about it. The very first character we meet, of course, is Vincent Graves. He's the main character. And right off the bat, we discover that he is a soul. He bounces from body to body, solving murders that occurred under strange and mysterious circumstances. You try saying that five times fast, it's hard. Anyway, as he goes through, we discover that that is basically his job and he died under those same circumstances quite a while ago. And he has since jumped from body to body to solve the same crimes. Um, strange and mysterious circumstances is essentially code for you got killed by a supernatural being. Or as Vincent likes to say it, ganked. Um, one thing that sets Vincent apart and makes him really a real neat character and makes R.R. Verdi's writing unique is his sense of humor. And I'm going to go ahead and read a little bit of the first chapter. You can actually see this on the Amazon uh, look inside bit, so I'm not giving anything away. And it says here, I am a soul. We're all souls. You, me, that annoying kid next door banging on his drums at 2 in the morning because he didn't take his ADHD medicine. The difference between everyone else and me is that I'm only a soul. Simply put, I'm you without the body. See, you're not really a person with a soul inside you. You're a soul with a physical form to play with. It goes on from there, but he sort of plays with language now and then, so I definitely don't want that on my channel. Um, however, all the language Vincent uses, in my opinion, is appropriate for the situation he is in. I mean, his job is to come back and face these supernatural beings that killed the poor person he is now inside of. He calls them meat suits. And solve the crime so he can move on to the next one. He is not amused by that, by the way. Next, we finally meet Church. Uh, he kind of comes and goes in the book. He's not a huge character, but he is the one who basically brands Vincent with a magical countdown tattoo. It tells Vincent exactly how much time he has to solve the murder. I'm not quite sure what happens to Vincent if he fails. I might have to ask the author, but I'm not sure he'll tell me. Um, and he also hands Vincent over the journal that Vincent has been creating since he started the job, which was a long time ago. And, but it helps him also remember all of the supernatural beings he has come in contact with in various ways to contact them or take them down. And it plays a very important role in Vincent's job. As Vincent goes on and discovers who he is inside of, and starts to solve the mystery of the man's murder, he starts making quite the ruckus and making a disastrous mess uh, to the point where it attracts the attention of the FBI and in walks Camila Ortiz. Now she's kind of a no-nonsense, she's not going to put up with anything, she doesn't believe Vincent when he says the cats did it, and so she essentially hunts him down and follows him for the rest of the book to help him solve this. Honestly, as my husband said when he read it, Camilla has to face things that are not good. Not good at all. And so, I have to agree. Goodness knows I wouldn't want to face any of these creatures. However, what I loved most about this book, seriously, is the humor. All the way through it, I would laugh. I would crack up. People would walk by and go, what are you laughing at? 
but you can't explain it. There's a lot of inside jokes that the author put in that associates with other fandoms. Um, some of them are like NCIS or Doctor Who. Just little snippets that only true fans would pick up. Um, one is when Vincent looks in a mirror and looks at his hair and goes, still not a ginger. If you're not a big fan of Doctor Who, you have no clue what that even means. So, they're just fun little inside jokes that R. R. Verdi snuck in here and there. When I first started reading this book, I honestly didn't know what to expect. I'd only read one of the Dresden Files at the time, and I wasn't impressed. Um, but R. R. Verdi, as this is his first book, I wasn't sure if it was going to be any good or not, but I will admit I read it in one setting. I couldn't get up. I didn't want to get up. Uh, if I did, I walked around with my nose stuffed in the book the whole time. Everybody got dirty looks if they interrupted me because it was just too funny and it is action-packed from the very beginning when he's buried in a coffin and has to bash his way out all the way to the very end where I'm not going to tell you what happens. I'm not that kind of reviewer. You're just going to have to find out. However, the humor is great. Ortiz is usually not amused with his sense of humor, but she can give back just as good as he can give. But all in all, it is a terrific book. His second one, Grave Measures, is due out at the beginning of next year. It was originally supposed to come out in February, but it looks like it's going to be more like March. I personally can't wait. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of R.R. Verdi, and I've since become uh, a, f a friend, actually. I love independent authors, because you can become their friends! Anyway, so it's been a lot of fun, and I also happen to know he has a third book. Not of the Grave Report series, but of a new series, also scheduled to come out in 2016, so it's going to be a really big year for him. I definitely, I hate saying I highly recommend, because that doesn't stress strongly enough how I feel about this. Go out to Amazon, I'll put the link down in my description, get the book. At least look at the look inside and see if his sense of humor is something you can relate to. Uh, some people might not like it. It did come out in print recently, and I thought that was pretty exciting. As a matter of fact, I already have my copy. And so, read him. Read this book. Follow R.R. Verdi. Uh, he hasn't been discovered yet by the traditional publishers, but honestly, I think it's just a matter of time. So get in on the ground floor while his books are still reasonably priced, people. And that's all I've got to say about this one. Definitely read this. Thank you. Make sure you follow my channel so you don't miss any more reviews. And be sure to check out my website so you can see all the other reviews that will not be recorded. And I will also include a link directly to the Amazon page for Grave Beginnings so you can check it out for yourself. Thank you, and you have a great day.